blessed Wednesday to us. In this uh, interesting portion of the Gospel of St. Luke, our Gospel reading today, the expression, quotation, that Jesus is using in order to actually conscientize not just his hearers, but also those who were constantly uh, against him, not the, the Jewish authorities. When he was using the expression, we played you a flute, but you did not dance, you sing a dirge or a funeral song, you did not weep, calls to mind what is written in the book of Ecclesiastes or Kohelet in the Old Testament, chapter 3, verse 4, the second section of verse 4. There is a time to weep, there is a time to dance. Now this particular definition of the description is actually very sapiential or wisdom. That's the reason why the end of today's gospel reading says about wisdom is vindicated by all the children. But what is dancing and weeping all about? Well, this is just a very important part of what the Christian faith and what the gospel message is all about. There is always time for joy. There is also time for sadness. And the, and the word of God and the message of salvation is not only whenever we are happy. You know? It is even more felt because we need the strength and the foundation when there is sadness, when we are gloomy, when there are so many upsets and setbacks that we face in our lives. And this is the reason why when we talk about the preaching of the gospel or the gospel itself, it is called uh, holistic. It takes a lot. It takes all the many different dimensions of our lives, whether joyful or sorrowful. The word of God and the message of salvation always takes its force. No? That's why, Wala mang ko'y gana, I'm so sad, dila sa ako maghisgot sa maing balita eh. Ngayon niya, ako malipayod. But you know, some people, when they are happy, they forget about God. No? People, sad to say, only remember God when they are sorrowful, when there are so many problems that actually come. And so this is a, a kind of question and a challenge that in the practice of the faith and in the understanding and the imbibing of the message of salvation, it is holistic. It takes all the different aspects. And this is what it means to con continually and constantly be grounded on the word of God, our very salvation, who from the first reading is described by St. Paul as, a, as an undeniably great mystery of devotion. When it says he was manifested in the flesh, vindicated in the spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed to the Gentiles, believed in throughout the world, and taken up in glory, takes all the many different aspects of what human life and existence is all about, and most of all, what Christian faith is all about. Amen.